Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to create resource groups. And the reason why we're going to make one is because without one, we're not gonna be able to launch pretty much any resource until we do so, because you always have to choose a resource group when launching uh, Azure resources. So even though it shows up here uh, on our dashboard, um, if it doesn't, I want you to go up here at the top and type in resource group. And we'll go ahead and click resource group here. And then all the way on the left-hand side, I want you to click on add. And uh, we're, we're just gonna have to use our free trial, which is the, our type of subscription. I'm just gonna type in exam pro as the resource group. We're gonna stay in US East uh, because that is where the most uh, most of the services are available in Azure, and that's what I'm gonna be using throughout um, this course, is always using US East. So we'll go down here and hit create plus, re uh, review plus create, because there's really nothing else to check. And once validation passed, this might happen instantaneously for you, you might have to wait a few seconds. Go ahead and hit create. And so um, now we have created our resource group. And there is no cost to resource groups, so there's no worry about uh, having this or whether you uh, keep it around, don't delete it. Uh, you're gonna notice that the group hasn't showed up just yet. You're gonna have to hit refresh. And sometimes Azure is a bit slow about uh, showing resources when you create them initially and when you delete them. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit here and I'm just gonna keep on refreshing and I'll see you back in a few minutes. All right, so I waited a couple of minutes and if you just go ahead up here and hit refresh, now we can see that we have our resource group. So that's all there really is to it. Nothing super exciting there. I'm just gonna click Microsoft Azure at the top here to get back to my dashboard and I'll see you in the next follow along.